Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today I wanted to kind of go over my idea of what the best setup for a bench grinder is. I'm getting back to working on the VW Beetle project, which has sit, sat dormant for oh, well over a year. Um, and in order to do that, I needed to kind of upgrade my wire wheel game just to kind of revive some of these parts and um, to do proper prep work on them and just to be able to clean them up a little bit better. So I went ahead and I invested in this decent 8 inch bench grinder right here and um, I already bought a, a wire wheel for it and I installed the wire wheel on it and then I bought just a couple of more items that I think will kind of take this grinder to the next level. A lot of times we have a bench grinder and we have to take it out of wherever we're storing it, lug it around and attach it to a table or whatever and then when we're done with it we have to put it back or, or whatever. Sometimes we're lucky enough to have a dedicated location for the grinder but I want this grinder to be able to easily get it um, set up and ready to go and then get it out of the way when I'm done with it. Uh, and uh, so this is kind of the solution I came up with and I'm going to share with you what all this is and then I'm going to put it together. Okay, so starting out we have this, the brand is Wen, W-E-N, and this is a cast iron um, pedestal stand and it's pretty basic but it's pretty heavy duty for what it is. It comes with the cast iron base and a steel tube, a cast aluminum tray for putting water in or, or whatever, for keeping your parts cool that you're grinding, all the hardware, and a nice heavy duty steel plate that you mount your grinder on. In addition to that, I bought these Vivor brand three inch caster wheels with the locks built into them. Um, and these are the stem style because they will be going through the uh, holes in the base here like so and they come in a four pack I only need three so I guess I'll have a spare for something else maybe down the road now adding this pedestal and these wheels to this setup didn't add a whole lot of extra cost to the overall cost of things I believe the grinder was hundred and thirty dollars at the time of making this video this pedestal was less than sixty dollars and the wheels were fifteen dollars and so for right around $200, when I add in the cost of the wire wheel that I bought, it was about $200 for this completely portable bench grinder setup. The pedestal base is only 32 inches high, so the wheels do uh, help in the way that they raise that pedestal up just another three inches, and uh, just kind of gets you right at the right height for when you're wanting to do grinding work uh, with your bench grinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly Put this all together and then I will hop back here and uh, talk some more once I'm done. I bought some heavier due to bolts uh, just because the ones that came with this are, I don't know, 5 sixteenths maybe. 
These are 7 sixteenths. They're just a little beefier. So they say the ideal height for a grinder is where basically the height of your elbow, <clears throat> this one might be just a little bit lower, but it puts your arm in a neutral position. So I guess, so you're not having to hold something down or up high, you're, you're basically right at your arm's level, you know, in order to make full use of the, the grinding wheels. So now here it is. It's completely portable, <clears throat> and then I can click on the, the locks down here to lock it in place. Still a little on the, maybe on the wobbly side, um, but if I were to take it and lean it up against a sturdy surface like my workbench, get my cord out of the way and then lock it down I'm gonna zoom you guys out so you can see what I'm doing here so now it's up against my workbench and it's not gonna it does not want to move now or shake or wobble or anything and so <clears throat> I am compromising a little bit of uh, stability for mobility but I think when it's set up like this, it's just about as good as um, if it were clamped down to it or bolted down to a workbench itself. And then when I'm done with it, I just unlock the locks and it's ready to go wherever I need it to go. Well, I hope you liked this uh, short little video about you know, my ultimate grinder setup. I know it's nothing revolutionary, but uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that for just a little bit extra money, I mean, it was less than $100, you can upgrade your, your bench grinder and make it into something that's a little bit more convenient to use, a little bit more convenient to store, because I don't use a bench grinder every single day. Some of you guys might do, do that, but uh, I don't. And so I'd rather, like I said, sacrifice a little bit of stability in order to gain a little bit of mobility and then I could put this anywhere I need it to be when I'm not using it and pull it out whenever I need to use it. All of these uh, items I bought myself on Amazon. Um, I will go ahead and leave links down in the description below for these exact items if you're interested in building your own station. Uh, that includes the grinder, the wire wheel, the pedestal stand, and the casters. Um, but besides that, I'd like to thank you for sticking around watching this. Uh, once again, my name is Tom. This is Southpaw Workshop. I'll see you guys next time. I'm sure I can tell you it's stable like this, but let me go ahead and show you that it's stable. Not too shabby.